Today wouldn't be possible without vision. Mayor Fulop was elected, took office on just 12 weeks ago today, and one of his earliest visions was to consolidate the police and fire department. It's my pleasure to introduce the mayor of Jersey City, the Honorable Stephen M. Fulop. Uh, th thank you, Robert, and thank you for all the dignitaries that took time out of their schedules to join us today. Uh, this coming year is Jersey City's 350th anniversary. It's one of the most storied and historic uh, settlements in the entire country, and uh, it's obviously a significant uh, amount of history in Jersey City. And uh, today is just another step adding to that history with uh, the swearing in officially of the new public Saf safety director, Jim Shea. We ran, and many of the council people that supported this decision, um, a historic election focused on change, and change was predicated primarily on public safety. This was amongst our most important uh, decisions because we know that in order to bridge the gap between the communities that have been neglected for a long time in Jersey City, it's really based on making every single community feel safe and equal. And we did a national search to truly find the best person possible to lead the Jersey City Police Department and Jersey City Fire Department. And we think we found that with Director Shea. Um, today is a privilege to be a part of. We are very excited about the next four years under his leadership. It is no small responsibility. He's going to be assuming command of nearly 2,000 employees and uh, he does that with a background of accomplishment. So we, um, the council and the administration, feel very comfortable and confident in Jim's ability, and we're really excited to have him not only working in Jersey City, but also him and his family living in Jersey City. So I'd like to welcome uh, Jim Shea up and his family for the official swearing in. Aye. Aye. James R. Shea. James R. Shea. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the government established. And to the government established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly, and justly perform all the duties, perform all the duties as director, as director of the Jersey City Department of Public Safety, of the Jersey City Department of Public Safety, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, so help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you everybody, family and friends for coming, some people from a long distance away. Uh, the, Mike Fidalco, my friend from the Port Authority, we worked together years ago and a Vietnam veteran, thank you also for coming. Uh, the police and fire people, quite frankly, I think you should be at work, but we're here now, so that's that. Uh, I want to dispel an ugly rumor. Uh, I did move to Jersey City, it's a wonderful city, I love it here. It, uh, it really combines the best of everything, like a city I grew up in where everybody knows each other and still is friendly and can reach out to each other and neighborly. But there's certain things, you know, about it that, let's be honest, there's a, way too many Giant fans here. Okay, that's uh, a fact. A lot of front, you know, a lot of front runners. Uh, and there's another thing, like rumors fly around. So there's this ugly rumor that despite the fact that I've spent my entire career in the police department, that secretly I always wanted to be a fireman. That's the, that's the rumor going on. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it got started, you know, or anything else, but uh, th this is the rumor that people are saying that deep down I'm favoring the fire department, so I'm just assuring you it's not true, okay? Absolutely not. Uh, Mayor Fulop, the city council, everybody, it seems like a long time since the first time I met you in your office and we talked, and I came out here not really looking for a job, but I did want to meet the mayor. And he sat down and talked to me about his vision of Jersey City. What a diverse and dynamic and wonderful city it was. And how it was actually going through this incredible change as it, in, as it enlarged. But it was maintaining the good parts of what kept it Jersey City. But that as it changed, he said we need to do a lot of work to make sure that it changes for the better for every single resident of Jersey City. From, the, from every corner, that we don't leave anybody behind. And he said, that's gonna require a lot of work, that we do that. 
and it's been a long time since I heard anybody talk like that about trying to build and trying to include everybody and trying to make life better for every single resident of the city that he was in charge of. And you couldn't help but buy into what he was describing and what he was trying to do. And I still talk to people and I say, listen, I don't know if we'll succeed, but I do know that it's, we're the only ones trying. And it's been a long time, time since I heard people describe their job like that. So it's an honor to work for you and to work for the council and the people of Jersey City. It's a double honor to be associated with the Jersey City Police and Fire Department in the short time that I've been here. The work they've done day in, day out is unbelievable. Answering five alarm fires, laughing when I meet them in the hospital, making jokes about me being a Met fan instead of worrying about the fact that they're injured at the scene or something. The police department dealing with a spate of shootings and solving seven out of eight of them when the average in, in the major cities in Jersey is about 20% and putting a stop to gunfire that was endangering the residents of the poorest neighborhoods of this city. It's an honor to be associated with them. And I'll just end by saying and echoing what the chaplain said, uh, on the back of everybody's program, the last two pages list the members of the Jersey City Police and Fire Department who've made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. And I'll try to keep them in my thoughts every day and remember that if we can show a fraction of the devotion and sacrifice they showed, this is going to be an incredible city. Thank you. I'm going to introduce Jerome Calla. He's going to make a presentation. And also Chief Rivers. And Chief Rivers. Uh, it's a, a tradition in the fire service that when we get a new fire director, we give him a fire helmet. But today we have a public safety director, so we kind of had to improvise. So director, if you would join me, please. The first ever public safety helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still keeping my other hat, just so I'm <laughs> We also have we also have photos to remind the director of his day in the fire academy with the mayor. So, oh, one for you, one, one, one for the mayor, mayor. chief. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. And congratulations, Director Shea. Thank you.